Greetings from Calgary, Alberta, on a gorgeous late summer's afternoon, where we're all set to kick off week 23 of the Canadian Premier League. Nigel Reid in the booth alongside former Canadian international Ian Hume as CPL leaders Cavalry FC prepare to face this year's expansion team, Vancouver FC. Home team Cavalry, three changes for the team that's beat Halifax in midweek. Tom Field comes in, possibly as a wing-back on the left-hand side. Fraser Aird will provide the bullets from the right-hand side. And their top scorer, Maya Bevan, the New Zealander with nine goals, is the target up front after that uh, surprising win against Atletico Ottawa last time out. Afshin Gottby resists the urge for major changes, just one in force because Gabby Bittar, who got an assist in that game, is suspended. Here they come again. And the early shot is not that far away. It might have been Renan Garcia, the veteran Brazilian. Moving forward and uh, certainly had Carducci's full attention. Fraser Aird makes his way infield. And he's keeping going. The Fraser Aird is in behind here. And he's put it wide, but was there a push? The referee says no. Fraser Aird is sure that he got pushed in the back. Lost his balance, went over and poked it wide of the post. He wants a penalty, he's not going to get one. Uh, it's, a, it's a foul. Vasco Fry, the Peruvian winger. Left-footed, tasty ball, there to be one at the back post. There was two of them there. Yeah, they couldn't get the ball on frame. And it might have been Cab Tav who got the uh, head up. But they were queuing up at the far post. We were looking to build a nine-point lead at the top of the table. And Vancouver FC... Trying to avoid defeat, and all the way across goal, and Hendel ends up in the back of the net, but the ball does not. What a teasing ball that was across, and Hendel couldn't quite get on the end of it. That's a great bit of play from Kantav. And Diaz might get a second chance here. Diaz goes for goal, needs the save, rebound. Carducci, very goalkeeping. Tav was closing in fast, and Carducci had to make it the second time. But Callum Irvin will probably be the busy of the two goalkeepers. It's certainly not the way it's turned out, not so far. But Lucy goes down, penalty. Vasco Fry penalised. Lucy goes down in the box. Everybody else outside the penalty area. Bevan to give Cavalry the lead. Does so straight down the middle. Cam Irving dove to his right. Bevan, beautiful, kept his nerve. The Cavs lead by a goal to nil. And Camden left footed into the area. Couldn't pick out Bevan. Camden might get a second chance. Fisk. Possibilities here for Cavalry. And the shot in the end is well saved by Callum Irving. But if you're a follower of a beautiful game, you'll know that one goal going in the same way. It's a two goal game. It's an own goal. It's an own goal. Bevan is getting the congratulations, but I'm absolutely certain the last touch came off. A Vancouver defender, not that the foot soldiers care, because Cavalry do have their two-goal cushion. And the Cavs lead Vancouver by two goals to nil. Crawford, another of the U21 players, he's still only 19. Yeah. Cameron across the face of goal, and then it's Crawford. Five foot saved by Carducci. Crawford took it first time. Carducci spread his flame, and his right foot took it over the top for a corner. Trying to do just that, finds Quark, the substitute, Crawford outside him, goes inside, turning Cantav. Back for Garcia, he's got a decent left peg, he scored! Renan Garcia, and we are going to have a grandstand finish. Carducci couldn't get there, and the veteran Brazilian reduces the arrears in stoppage time. Cavalry 2, Vancouver 1. It's a great strike. 
And Carducci, I don't think he sees it. That's an incredible strike. Is there time for one more opportunity for Vancouver? Camargo for Fisk, who's got some room. Will he go for goal or will he go for the corner flag? And take those seconds off the clock. Cameron makes the challenge, but it doesn't matter because Mary Soleil Boudoir blows her final whistle. And finally, Tommy Wilden Jr. can smile. It was an uneasy last five minutes.